We type every day. Emails, messages, notes, scripts. But have you ever thought about getting faster, more efficient, or just making typing feel better? Hey, hey, it's CK, and welcome back to 52 Skills in 52 Weeks. This week was typing. Typing isn't just for writers and programmers. It's a fundamental skill in the technological age that is required, and the more efficient you are at it, the more you can focus on getting the work done. Most people kind of act like birds when they're typing. They're looking down, they're pecking away at it, and they're trying to find where the keys are and match those keys together. Sometimes they even find people typing with just one finger. Just to quickly preface, my typing speed is 140 words per minute. I got this through going to monkeytype.com and finding out how to type more efficiently and the speed of my typing. And eventually I kept practicing at it and got faster and faster. And to become more efficient at typing, you need to try a few different methods. The first method, which is probably the hardest but more beneficial in the long term, is touch typing. Touch typing is when you're typing without looking at the keyboard and based on feeling. This is practiced over time. There's a few different websites you can use to practice this, or you can just practice this by typing regularly without looking down and just trying to remember where the keys are on your own. Your brain is smarter than you think, so you need to try to rely on it and trust that you will find the keys over time. And the more mistakes you make, the more you'll memorize over time where the keys are naturally. The other method is finding the regular hand movement method, where your hands can feel where the F and J are. Most keyboards have a little indent at the F and J, and that's your starting point. By trying to keep your hands in the same place, you're able to type more efficiently by just going up and down as needed. This is an old basic way of typing I learned back in elementary school and middle school from my computer classes, and it's a great starting point for most typing. And if you don't like the current method of typing, there are other methods of typing with the different layout. The usual layout we see is QWERTY, and that's the first six letters at the top, Q-W-E-R-T-Y. But there are other methods like Coleman and Dvorak, which are more optimized ways of typing so you don't have to move your fingers as much. And the most important keys are in the first uh, middle row, so that way when you're typing, it just looks like you're going up and down like this. But before I get into how to practice your typing to become more efficient, I want to go into the keyboards. Similar to most skills and hobbies, the tools that you're using help drive a better improvement and progress in your experience with that hobby. Now, typing is only as good as the tools that you use. You can use the keyboard that you have or the laptop keyboard, but having a better keyboard makes you a better typer. For me, my daily driver is this Rainy 75. It was under $100. I got it on a Kickstarter and it's very efficient for what I'm looking for and it has a great sound and feel to it. And it has most keys that I use. Then I also have this modded Dusk 67% keyboard, which is great for travel and great for being around other people because it has silent switches I modded into it, which you could barely hear. So both of these put together are both my home keyboard and then the other one is my travel keyboard. They allow me to be able to type efficiently wherever I go. Now to get into keyboards briefly, you want to be able to find a keyboard that works for you. The amount of keyboards are tremendous and getting into this hobby of keyboards can be very expensive and very time and cost efficient. If I was to recommend a starting keyboard that is at home and heavy and has good sound and customability. The Tofu 65 is a great start. It's a keyboard that can come pre-built so that way you don't have to build it yourself. Or if you want to learn how to build it, there are options that where they send you the parts and then you build it yourself following the instructions from them. And then you can buy your own keycaps that you want for it. If you want more travelability, I can recommend the NuFi keyboards. The NuFi keyboards are great to place on top of your laptop, they're lightweight, they're small and portable, or even the Logitech ones. Logitech makes a lot of great mice, but they also make some pretty good keyboards now. Not the best, but they're still good enough for travel if you'd like. Now, while I can get into keyboards and talk about them for a long time, I want to move on to the actual typing. How do we become a more efficient typer? For me, I type at 140 words per minute average. My typing average stems from years and years of practice since I was in elementary and middle school. 
I've been using computer all my life, so typing is just natural to me. But this didn't come naturally. It was over time I got better at it. The way I got better was first I learned natural typing, which is where your pointer fingers are on the F and J when there's a little like indent in there for most keyboards. And I was learning to type that way, trying to keep my hands in a rested position, my fingers moving only when needed. Then I became more efficient when I learned touch typing. That's typing without looking. In high school and college, to write an essay quickly, I would put the keyboard above my pillow, put my head on the pillow, put my hands under the pillow, and just type away what I thought for the essay or whatever I was working on for school. And I would type and type and type, and I would fix the grammar later and fix the sentences later, but it was more of just getting my thoughts down and getting the writing down and then going back and fixing it later. Because most of the time with typing, it's not instant. It's more of like you can fix it. It's an email you can fix. It's a paragraph you can fix. It's not usually a one-time thing. There's drafts and drafts and drafts. The average speed of typing is around 60 words per minute, I believe. You can check on monkeytype.com how fast you type. And over time, you can even practice on there. You can practice on quotes, on words, on time. It's really for you to be able to become a better typer. And remember, it's not about hitting 100 words per minute you know, in a day. It's about getting your typing speed a little bit faster so you can focus on your work and your efficiency at work. And a lot of people are slow at work because their typing is slow. So by becoming more efficient over time, you can become a better typer. And, you know, I recommend trying different keyboards. Go to places that have options for keyboards, like a micro center that have different options of keyboards there as well. And remember, a lot of places have a return policy. You can try them out, see how you feel, and then send it back. But when you're getting into this, watch a lot of videos of different sounds, different feels, so you understand what you like and understand what you want. Typing isn't just a necessity. It's a skill that once mastered becomes second nature. And whether it's work, gaming, programming, or just day-to-day -day efficiency, learning to type faster will always pay off in the long term. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you learned something about how to type more efficiently or want to get into keyboards today. It's something that I really am passionate about because I type all the time, I take notes all the time, and I work in a field that requires a lot of typing. And the keyboard matters a lot to me and my typing speed matters a lot to me. And I hope that it matters to you if you work in a field that's technologically inclined. It'll take some time to get your speed up. I've been working from my speed of 120 and eventually now at a 140 word per minute average. And I'm getting to like 160 for 15 seconds. It's a lot of work and it's just practicing on monkey type all the time and just practicing in general. Just have fun with it. Typing can be a fun experience and you can learn to type faster and then you can write a lot more in a shorter span of time. And you write at the speed of your thinking at one point even. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you like it if you did like the video. Subscribe if you wanna see more of the skills that I'm working on. And until then, I'll see you next week with the next skill. Bye.